Okay, my friends, it is uh, November 23rd, 2024. It's 440 a.m. And I'm going to make a quick one here. I'm not going to, uh, uh, you know, concatenate the, a bunch of videos. I just want to show you a quick update. The amplifier is coming along very nicely. Uh, I'm, I'm making some data measurements on it. I want to show you the data. I like data. I bet you guys do too. This transformer is rated at 100 milliamps. Filaments are wired, etc. It's wired up. The power supply is wired up. So let's turn it on. See the little red light come on? And, uh, Let's see, I'm going to have to take the camera off here. Got to move it around a little bit. I'll be as careful as I can. What I've got across it is a dummy load of 4K, a 4K ohm resistor. So I'm, I'm loading it for a full 100 million of that 4K resistor right there, and it does get hot. Okay, here's a voltage right now, absolutely fully loaded. Just under just under 400 volts. That's about 395. Okay, now I want to show you this. I want to take the load off. I'm going to take the load completely off. And it rises to uh, uh, almost 500, like 490. Well, we're actually stressing, <laughs> we're actually stressing the capacitors because they're only rated at 450. So let's hook it back up. I don't know if you saw that flash or not. Watch this. Can you can you see that blue flash there? Okay. So that's something worth knowing. Full load to no load. Now let's do one other thing. I want to. This is just a moment of, like I say, data reckoning. Let's take the 5U4 out. Now remember, we're back up at uh, 390. I mean, just a hair less than 400 volts. If we take this 5U4 out, I'm going to burn myself with it, and put in a solid state rectifier, watch what the voltage goes to. Can you see that? That's just a tiny bit less than 440. Uh, uh, I'd call it 435 from my viewpoint. And that's classic. I mean, that's the voltage drop across the 5U4. It's just the way life works. And it'll work better like this. We'll get more power at low distortion. I'll say it again, what I said the other night. Uh, the higher you can raise the plate voltage until it blows the tube out of the socket, uh, the, the better performance you'll get. So there you go. I'm not going to leave it like that. I'm going to put the 5U4 back in. I'm going to let it run for a while. I'm having to hold it at the bottom because it's probably pretty, probably pretty darn hot. No, yeah, 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 it is hot. Okay, I'm, I'm going to do this. Okay, there we go. All right, well, that's kind of it. Uh, with that load across it, when I turn it off, watch how it drains. See, the voltage drains off very quickly. That's nice. We want, the, we want it to drain off. And I'll show you quickly underneath it. Unplug it. Set it up on its side. This is where I had the dummy load connected in. I've got that much done. Got the power supply portion of it done. We'll disconnect them. So it is coming along. There's the back. There's our IEC connector, fuse holder, output. Yeah. I don't have the uh, pot, the, the, the volume control pot mounted in the front. There's the uh, the Switchcraft, I couldn't think of that name the other night. Uh, good good stuff. And I did put a bit, a bit larger uh, on a switch. And by the way, uh, one more thing. A good gentleman asked me to, what if I were to build it into a, 
a push pull set of 807s. Well, we got it right here. This is a Heath kit. I'm not going to show it tonight, but I have shown this one before. Sorry, it's kind of mixed up there with my computer, but it's a nice little amp for it. Performs marvelously. A pair of 807s into a, see it says Heath kit amplifier, main amplifier, and so on. This is a um, really nice high-end um, peerless transformer, as you can see. I made a video of this a long time ago, but I'll make another video of it uh, since we're since we're having a uh, a deep interest in 807s. I've already got the power supply built for it. It's kind of interesting the way I got this is when I bought it, my wife and I went to an estate sale, and somebody had already bought the power supply, but they didn't want the amplifier. They just wanted the power supply. Well, I would have liked to have had them both, but anyway, I built the power supply for it. So that's uh, this is the I think the one of the nicest uh, 807 amplifiers built. Probably it, it definitely is a uh, Williamson design. Okay, well that's it. So uh, stay safe, and I'll post this, and uh, we'll keep moving. Have fun. Stay safe.